peace and love YouTube. I thought I'd try yet again. <laughs> One of these driving multitasking videos and see how that goes. This is Imara Ifawi from Our Mother's Way channel. I have not been posting much just because it is a weird world out here in YouTube. It's just so strange. And I just, um, I mean, there's been so much censorship on this medium. I just have gotten to the point where I'm like less and less interested. But I, I definitely like connecting with all of you. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things that's been coming up since this new year. So blessed new year to all of you. A beautiful 2021. As many of us know, this is not any kind of an actual new year. That this is all Gregorian confusion. But, you know, we still celebrate, you know, kind of the consensus on, on different cycles and, and different things like that. So even though I think many of us know that anything that is, you know, based upon the Gregorian New Year is just fake, we definitely um, give thanks, you know, for having made it through this so-called year and all of the things that we went through. I mean, we almost need to recap because it's been a lot this year. But all of you that know, know at this point it's no convincing people. There's no uh, getting people to understand that the things that the media have been putting in their minds in the last months just aren't necessarily, you know, what's really going on. We just have to accept that people are where they are right now. But um, what's really coming to my attention right now, and I don't really like to name names. I really, I don't like all the drama. There's a lot of drama on YouTube. Lately, it's becoming kind of reminds me of the soap operas my grandmother used to watch when I was a child. You know, Young and the Rest of This and all of this. I mean, total smut, right? Like, the crappiest shit. And then coupled with what we've uh, kind of progressed into, which is uh, reality TV and all of that. So some of what I've been seeing on YouTube lately is kind of getting to that level. And it's, it's just kind of embarrassing because... You know, at the end of the day, we're way better than any of that, and it's just so inauthentic. So I really am not crazy about it. Um, I'm no angel. You know, I definitely can get excited about things and, and get um, caught up in certain stories and things, but there are some things going on on YouTube right now for those of you who are in the Pan-African kind of community on YouTube or the, the social media frenzy that's going on around one of our dear sisters, a sister that I know, who's a very, very nice sister, um, who is doing her thing out in West Africa and, you know, trying to make a new life for herself and all of these things. And I want to talk now about intentions because we really, at this time, after having passed through this grand conjunction and uh, this new energy that we're in, some people are calling it new earth and, and um, just a new space and time where things are very sped up, where your karma comes back to you um, very rapidly, where you cannot escape the lessons that you are bringing upon yourself by the actions you take. You know, in this time that is very sped up, it's important that we all... Um, watch how we're moving in the world and no one is is free of guilt like nobody is perfect moving around out here you can try to be the best person that you want to be the most upright person but at the end of the day it's all it's all of these things these adaptations i think that's a word or adaptions adaptations to living in a very unnatural world that all of us at least most of us have, have um, taken on so that we can cope, so that we can survive. And these things that we do that are, you know, kind of out of the natural flow of just love and kindness and, and compassion are, are really, really coming back on us in ways that we never could imagine maybe prior to this time just because of the era and phase that we're in. And so we have to move very carefully. And I speak to women because this channel is our mother's way. And as much as I love our brothers too, it's no thing against brothers. My media, my my communication is focused and targeted on other mothers and on those of us that are holding that feminine energy on this planet right now. Because that's a major thing to have to hold down. You know, it's a major thing to have to be um, 
you know, the nurturer of the planet, basically. And as melanated women, that's what we are. And so, or me, you know, and whatever that means, you know, uh, as women with color, with, you know what I mean, with um, kind of this indigenous, very rooted to the earth energy. This is what we, this is what we have to deal with, mothering and nurturing the earth. And so if we're off balance, everything around us is off balance. You know what I mean? Everything around us is off balance. There will be no peace and harmony if we don't, if we don't fight for that in our own lives, you know? And so it's very important that we as women understand the power that we have. And um, one of the books that I recommend, Sisters, uh, The Sibyls, by um, a beautiful elder, uh, Zope, Mama Zope. And, um, you know, we start to get into understanding our history and the power that we have always had in the matriarchy. Because the matriarchy was the original thing. All of that's come after that in regards to, you know, the patriarchy and the male domination. All of that stuff is, is that's a new one. You know what I mean? But when we get really ancient with it, we're dealing with matriarchal societies. And even in Africa, when you go there and you spend time there, you realize there's an um, kind of tacit, quiet understanding that it's the mother. The mother is the ruler of all. She's the one that is your first love. She's your first nurturer. She gives birth to you. She does everything for you. So the mother is the original God. And that's where the goddess energy really is stemming from. The, the original goddess is the mother. So there is nothing that could come before that. There's nothing that precedes that. That doesn't mean that the, those that are born into male form on this planet have no relevance. But the original god for everyone that comes on this planet is the mother energy. And so it's very um, interesting and sad to see how certain things are going down even in these YouTube streets in regards to the mother uh, in regards to the woman and the feminine energy and so it's very important that us in understanding the, war, the level of warfare that's being um, waged on women you know on the planet at this time it's very important that we are very careful about the way we move that we move in integrity that we always have a kind of clear and pure vision of what we're doing you know that we understand that the power of the punani the power of of our our essence when 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 men and males are connecting with us sexually is is a lot of power it's a lot of energy this is why they chase that that down you know what i mean it's very powerful and so we need to respect ourselves and respect our wombs enough to understand that we um, should not be abusing that for our come-ups or abusing that for our elevation. You know what I mean? And this is not a, an easy lesson because what do they say the oldest occupation is? It's women using that power to manipulate, to, uh, to bring in the things that they need to survive. So this is a very old situation. This is something that um, has always happened. But to say that it's a good thing when it can breach, kind of uh, bring forth so much negativity, I don't know about that. I think that as women, we need to really, really check how we're moving in the world. Um, it's very hard because without being able to tap in and manipulate through that energy, it makes us very, very accountable for uh, what we're doing, how we're bringing in funds, how we're supporting our family, and it makes you have to be kind of a very independent person. And as humans, we feel that we are very um, interdependent. So it's, it's hard to accept the fact that yet you might not be able to lean on any man for your assessments. You may not be able to lean on anyone to, to elevate in your life you might actually have to dig in all the way into yourself and figure that out and um, this is just what the spirit is showing me now that we have a real issue on our hands because um, there's some natural ways that we've been moving there's some ways that we've been moving for eons that just isn't going to work in the new energy in the new earth and so we as people we need to trust more we need to understand that we have everything we need. Um, we need to do less, speak less, and trust more. 
you know, in ourselves. It's not about trusting in a God outside. It's not about trusting in entities and different uh, beings from history that we've now kind of created this God figure image around. It's not about any of that. It's about trusting yourself and understanding that uh, you can create the life that you want by yourself, you know, just working with and collaborating with people along the way. You do not need to be dependent. You do not need to use people. You do not need to engage in all of these lower vampire and vampiric interactions in order to achieve the kind of lifestyle that you want. And so I, you know, like I said, I, as much as I would love to, you know, discuss these things with people and stuff, I won't get into any details about what is inspiring me right now, inspiring this thought and this video right now. But I will say that sisters, we need to do better you know, uh, as women, we have a hold a whole lot of responsibility. And so it's very important that we do a lot, lot better. And we teach our daughters how to do better. And this is very important to me. YouTube is full of a bunch of crap. People, you know, um, mixing the truth up with a bunch of falsity. You know, there's a lot of people I hear that have mixed up a lot of confusion into this YouTube energy and and really still there are some of us who just want to connect who just want to share and um touch people you know and i feel like it's very important that we get really real about how we move in so that we don't have to create these high drama situations for ourselves that you know kind of kick us back you know and kick us down levels that we can keep elevating. So nothing is nothing is going to be perfect. Everything is going to take effort and some work. But still we can stop creating and recreating high level drama in our worlds. Just based upon, um, you know, moving into things with the wrong intention. Moving into things with character that's questionable. We have, we really, really got to be careful out here. And then I know sometimes I make these videos and it seems like, oh, I don't love men or I might be like a hater on males. I love males. I think males are a beautiful balance on the planet. You know, we talk about divine males. Males are, are very relevant to everything that's happening. You know, they have more issues with behavior and, and control, but um, they are very, you know, very relevant to everything that's happening. But... What I will say is, as women, we have a lot of responsibility to mind how we're interacting, to make sure we are never putting ourselves in the position to manipulate, manipulate people for the things that we want. This is a very low vibrational thing. It is not okay. It's not okay for men to do it. It's not okay for women to do it. This is a, a sickness. And boy, have we really, really taken it on as like an all right way to cope and, and live and maintain. You know, whether you call it narcissism, uh, histrionic, you know, cluster B, whatever it is, manipulating other people to get what you want is not okay. And God knows I know all about it because I've done plenty of it in my life. But at this time in my world, I'm looking around and I'm looking at all of the changes that are occurring on the planet. And I'm thinking about how I want to see my children live out on the planet and in this world and I'm like no more you know no more of that be responsible be self-responsible if some shit goes down deal with the fact that you put yourself in the position to have to go through that situation we pretty much are constantly walking in to situations we are we're through our decisions creating our lives through our decisions creating our lives and so to blame other people for your decisions is silly because that's the decision you made when you were getting all of the red flags and all of the information that was coming through because God knows women be seeing everything. You were receiving all of that information and you still made that decision. And as, um, you know, kind of a spiritually oriented person, I definitely can think about all the times that I willingly walked into a whole lot of bullshit. And so, yes, ladies, let's be responsible out here with all of this energy and um, really focus on, you know, what we're showing the children and, and what we're 
what examples we're setting for the youth so that, you know, they can do better. <laughs> Many blessings. Much love to all of you. I hope you're having a beautiful new cycle, you know, and just setting all the right intentions for your life and for what, what it is you want to do. Enjoy the day. Peace and love.